Peace Reflections, you are over here with Tarithia, and we have made it to part three. Okay, we made it to part three. Last, um, in part two, we talked about Cancer, Leo, and we got a little bit into Virgo, right? We got a little bit into Virgo. And if you are new to the Zodiac series, then I am talking about what should you focus on in the month of August, okay? So, I'm going to finish up Virgo. And if you are new and you didn't watch um, part two or you just didn't catch part two, then it's okay. Come on in, Virgo. I'm finna get you together. Uh, the teacher of the Zodiac sign. Come in the room. Come in the room. All right. We were talking about how good you are paying attention to detail. And this is going to help you in the month of August. All right. We all know that Virgos are very good with details. They're very detail orientated. Now, this is going to help you um, go to the next level in the month of August. It's going to help you really set your foundation for things that you are trying to build for the rest of the year okay now recommitment is key we talked about that in part two with you recommitment is key it's something that you stopped on that you need to go back and you need to start back on virgo in order to recommit that means you already committed to something it was something that you committed to that you stopped okay for whatever reason that you stopped only you know virgo and it doesn't matter why you stop it just matters that you go back and you finish it okay you have a lot of things that you a lot of great things that you started but you didn't finish virgo august is a good month to go on ahead and wrap that up okay especially before fall comes all right Right? so what else okay it's good for you to be a service okay be of service in august okay be available all right when i say be of service i mean for your love and your desires think about what you want think about what you want it's time to put in that good karma okay so when i say be of service that's what i mean the month of august you want to put in you want to put out all good energy do you hear me, Virgo? Because it's going to come back. Whatever energy you put out is going to come back. And we know October is coming, okay? The month of the scales, all right? The month of whatever energy you put out, that's the energy you get back, all right? So you want to put out nothing but good energy this month, all right, Virgo? You want to put out nothing but good energy so you can receive good karma, all right? And I'm sensitive. You put out that good energy. It's a lot of great things coming to you. It's a lot of great things in the next cycle, okay? Your love and desires and money will follow with good karma okay all of this is going to come if you put out that good energy virgo i feel like i'm over here negotiating with you i feel like you gemini right now you know gemini just sometimes you have to negotiate with gemini you have to be like listen gemini listen i need y'all i need you and your other self to get along if y'all get along i'm gonna do this 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 and this you gotta do that with gemini i almost felt like that for a second so bargaining don't be afraid to bargain okay i know you're not you're the teacher of the zodiac sign you like to teach people lessons and different things like that virgo that's why virgo and scorpio the zodiac sign look so much alike if you look at the zodiac sign virgo and you look at the zodiac sign scorpio one of them just have a tail curved and the other one don't reflection they act alike a little bit but that's a video for another day okay but this month this isn't the time to um teach the lessons this is the time to be the student this is the time to be the student okay now virgo you have a great sense for retaining knowledge we said that in the last video but i want to go a little bit more into depth into it you have um a lot of people you can teach them certain things but this is what make you the teacher of the zodiac sign because you can hold a lot of information now libra the balance is able to hold a lot of information as well but libra um even though they're an air sign they're not able to teach the way virgo is okay keep in mind virgo is a detailed virgo can break things down the way another verdict another zodiac sign can't okay virgo is really good with breaking things down okay and virgo is an earth sign so it's very stable it's very stable okay so just always keep that um keep that in mind that that is one of your superpowers and that is going to help you get through the month of august okay retaining information all right paying attention to details being able to um expand your knowledge all right so who's next on the list we have libra the balance now you know i love me libra i love me some libras baby balance me out only those libras only the libra now libra you know i have a special spot for you in my heart i have a 
special little spot for you in my heart, baby. Okay, I almost came on camera when they got to talk about Libras. Let me get off this camera, all right? So, Libra, okay, what you want to do in August? You want to feel more and think less, Libra. Now, this isn't hard for you. This isn't hard for you at all, I don't think. But it's like this. Libras are um from uh Venus. Lib Libras are from Venus, but Libra is an air sign, all right? Libra is an air sign, which means Libra is always in its head. It's hard to fool a Libra. Libra is always thinking. Libra got all the good juicy information, all the juicy gossip because Libra can um shit. Libra can be friends with anybody. Reflection. Libras can be friends. They can talk to a wall if the wall decide it ever want to talk back. A Libra be, will be right there to talk to the wall. Okay, that's a Libra for you. That's not the listen. So this month of August, you actually want to feel more and think less. Think more. Think with your heart. Now, I know that don't make sense, Libra, but you can figure it out. Think with your heart. Feel more with your heart, Libra. You know what I mean. Feel more with your heart and think less. Don't be all in your head. Okay, it's time to get with your emotions, all right? So um, a lot of people could be going through a lot of legal manners, okay? Libra, the legal eagle, all right? Libra, you could be going through some legal manners. I'm sensing, don't worry about it. A lot of your legal manners will get resolved after the month of August, around the end of August, okay? So legal, legal manners will be resolved, but I don't, you don't want to be trying to add on top of your legal manners, okay? Make sure you are staying out of the way, Libra. Make sure you're staying out the way and doing what you what you should be doing and focusing on the things you should be focusing on in all of these legal cases, all of these legal ma legal matters will actually um, be resolved by the end of August. Okay, so let's keep going. Avoid being selfish, Libra. All right. Now I know y'all don't want to hear this, but we all know a Libra can be just a little pinch, just a little pinch of selfish. It's okay, Libra, but not in August. It ain't gonna be. So you want to avoid being selfish, all right? Avoid. You better wait till October. This your month. You better wait till October, Libra, because it's not gonna work. It's not gonna work in your best favor. Being selfish, all right. So being self, avoid being selfish in the month of August. Okay, avoid that. It's not gonna work out good. Now karma knocks not karma knocks what is up with my talking tonight karma knocks at a lot of people's door but i'm sensing she busy reflection she's busy she's coming a little quicker than usual so you want to avoid being selfish in the month of august okay now negotiation has always been your superpower Libra, we all know you can negotiate. You look, you are about peace. You are about harmony. Now, do you always keep the peace and the harmony? I, harmony. I didn't say that. I didn't say that. But I will say that um, Libras are very good negotiators. Okay, a lot of Libras um become negotiators reflection okay they're real good with communication because it's an air sign all right air signs are very good with their communication but libra is one of the best that's why it's a cardinal sign all right if i'm not mistaken so um negotiation negotiation is one of your superpowers and negotiation is actually going to help you through august it's going to help you maneuver and get you out of those tight spaces okay so negotiation watch your words libra all right use them to your advantage Who's next on the list? You know who up next, baby. Well, I need a bell for this one, Reflection. I need a bell, some drums, some tambourines. Scorpio, get in the building. Big Scorpio, not the little one. You know who I'm talking about. The Transformers of the Zodiac sign. Get, come on. Come on, it's time for you to come from under underground. You know, y'all like to be in y'all little box. Y'all like to be in the underworld. Y'all like to be in the darkness. It's time for you to come to the light, Scorpio, baby. Yes, I'm here to tell you what you got to look forward for for the month of August. Now, I can talk about y'all. I can do this because you know I'm a little piece. Just a little piece, you get what I'm saying, a little scorpion. So let me tell you, let me listen. Because I know y'all can get a little sensitive. I know y'all be like, who you talking to, T? And I'm going to have to actually put this in part. Are we going to have to put y'all in part four? We're going to have to put you in part four. But let me go on ahead and tell you a little bit of what you need to expect for in August, Scorpio. First on the list is you got to quit being so obsessive. You been, yes, I don't know who you over there obsessing over. Somebody, why you so obsessed? Obsessed with me, 
acting like you know. Yes, baby. Somebody over there acting like me. Some reflection. They got their eye on you. Scorpio, they got their eye on you. Or you got your eye on them, baby. Or y'all could have y'all eye on each other. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. But somebody is very obsessed with you. Or you are obsessed with somebody else. Are you over there jumping in people's dreams, Scorpio? Are you over there jumping in their dreams and shit when they wake up? They thinking about you when they go to sleep. Oh, they go to sleep. They thinking about you reflection you over there using your magnetic power is that what you're doing scorpio don't play with me you know i know all your tricks in your trick-or-treat bag baby join me back for part three no part four